that rather attracting, uh, attractive um, display is the lamb chops, the roast lamb chops I'm cooking for tonight. Um, there, I have a recipe for this which you'll see uh, on my channel. Uh, if you want to scroll down there, just search for lamb chops and uh, you should find a recipe for that. But also to go with this, I've decided on a nice good old fashioned dessert which we call junket. Now, junket you won't find commercially available because that is a junket I've made, here's one I made earlier in a cup you see and you see what, what that is okay it's a sweetened milk which is flavoured with vanilla in this case you can flavour it with almond or other flavourings and it is set uh, with an enzyme known as rennet rennet this will be very well known to cheesemakers this is a vegetarian rennet but there is animal rennet as well which is probably the more traditional way but the vegetarian rennet sets perfectly well and it's suitable for vegetarians as well um, you'll also need some nutmeg because that's another principal flavoring in this particular version um, and, that, and you'll see some nutmeg just scattered nicely on the top of that little fella there look the other thing we'll need is some milk and some sugar now this is almost laughably easy to make so I'll quickly run you through it but first I want to mount my camera all right that one's actually set rather nicely now so I can put that in the fridge to chill um, and I'll show you how we do this from the scratch all right you can make it in a cup as you've seen or a mug as you've seen uh, back there um, but you can also make it a nice attractive way to make it is in a glass bowl or a dessert bowl or something like that and uh, the first thing you take is some milk and the one that works here is fresh uh, fresh fresh milk don't use ultra heat treated or any heat treated milk you can use pasteurized milk as long as it's fresh milk um, if you use ultra heat treated this process probably will not start okay so uh, so you go in with some fresh milk and I'm using fresh whole milk because this we like it nice and creamy and I fill that up to about a third and then the next thing I do is I just quickly because this is a real easy real simple way of doing it is we've got to get that up to the temperature um, of around about blood temperature around about 37 degrees and we also um, need to get sugar into it vanilla and the rennet into it um, so in order to melt the sugar we the easiest way is to get this bit warm melt the sugar into that and then top it up with cold until it comes up to the right temperature sounds good great right I'm just going to nuke this and get it hot all right well we've got the milk uh, hot and that's uh, 80 degrees uh, Celsius so what I'm going to do now is melt some sugar into it now we're going to fill this bowl up and it's around about three cups full so I'm going to add two teaspoons per cup because we've got one sweet tooth in this house as you may have gathered already those who know me my brother so I'll put six teaspoons of that in and I'll get that stirring because I want to melt that sugar right in that's got to be in complete solution with the milk stir it as long as you need to to get it melted in it won't take long just like stirring it into coffee and then once we've got that melted in completely the sugar is now in solution what we do is we top up this with cold all right now some recipes call you for heat it, heating it up to 37 degrees don't waste time just get the bottom bit hot and top it up with this and then give it a, a whirl make sure it's all mixed in at this stage you can test it for sweetness if you care to this is a tried and tested recipe for me so I don't need to um, that's kind of as sweet as we like it now we check the temperature again 
and that's a little bit cool so that's at 30.4 so I think what I might do is I might stick that back in the new just for a few more seconds just in fact no what I'll do I'll, I'll top it up with some hotter milk so give me a minute and we'll do that all right I've uh, nuked half a cup of milk I'm gonna pour half of that amount in give it a stir and then I'll test the temperature again that's closer I think we can do with the rest of that in there so that's brought it up to a nice temperature now another way of testing it if you if you don't want to get scientific with a fancy thermometer is just stick your finger in and when it gets to about blood temperature when it gets to you basically don't feel it because it's your own body temperature um, then it's it's really ready to go so right we've got the, um, the we've got the milk sweetened the next thing we need to do is add the flavorings so I'm going to use the last bit of this vanilla essence that's going in there and I'm also going to crack open my new one this is a nice one this is a, a really good uh, fair trade organic uh, vanilla bean extract so it smells awesome uh, I'm going to add that was about one teaspoon let's put three teaspoons of that in there because we want a nice vanilla flavor on this now in, in this stage you can add whatever flavorings you like from these extracts from these um, these type of flavorings but use the good quality ones okay use use excellent quality because what goes in is what comes out and if you want quality you've got to think quality all right and into that I'm going to pour two teaspoons of rennet to make sure it sets now you've got to stir this to make sure the rennet mixes into the whole now those of you who know how to make cheese will be very familiar with this process because uh, pitching rennet into into uh, warm milk or, or sorry um, tepid uh, body temperature milk is how you start the process of cheese making so this is kind of what we're doing we're, we're turning um, that milk into uh, what is effectively curds and whey um, to make cheese then you would separate the curd from the whey and then dry it and do the various things and salt it and do all those different things you do to turn it into cheese uh, this is the process before that uh, so it's very it's very very similar to making cottage cheese very similar to making mozzarella um, and very similar to making um, a ricotta cheese uh, ricotta cheese is where you take off the um, take off the whey and cook it again and that creates yet another cheese so um, you now leave this at room temperature until those enzymes get to work on the milk and turn it into curd and that's going to take uh, around about 15 20 minutes okay and we'll get back to you okay just a little word about um, about this dessert um, you've got to be very gentle with it in these stages if you start moving it around or bashing it around uh, the curds and whey will begin to break up and then you'll start to get something much less attractive than the finished pud we're going to have here um, this is why you cannot buy this commercially available because it simply doesn't travel um, it, it would by the time it had got through the distribution process for modern supermarkets or even just your, your local shop it would be broken up and it would look disgusting so um, this is why uh, this dish is not commercially available uh, traditionally this was served to convalescing children um, mainly because it's so easy to, to digest and it's also an excellent source of protein and fats um, and, and good fats 
as long as you're using good quality milk um, and good quality ingredients, uh, what, what goes in is what comes out. And um, so there we are. Um, I'm going to leave this a little bit longer, let it set. It's starting to go, you can see it's just starting to gel slightly, but we need to give it about another 10-15 minutes. Okay, I brought you a bit closer up so you can see it's starting to set. This bowl of delicious gorgeousness is now almost ready to go into the fridge and to be chilled. One last thing I like to add at this point is a little bit of uh, nutmeg because a little bit of extra spice in your life can never be a bad thing. There you go. Give it a little sprinkling on top. And doesn't that make it attractive? I think I think our milk puddings mostly deserve a bit of uh, nutmeg on top. Um, so I'm going to put that away and chill it. And um, the last thing you'll see is uh, one of us two, me or my brother, eating this. Right, the junket is out of the um, fridge. I've cooked it in the fridge for about an hour and it's set nicely and now my brother is going to serve himself a generous portion of it. Okay King Pud, go for it. Yum. You should say generous. Yeah, be rude not to wouldn't it really? Uh, put that down there. There you go. Watch this, the face of yum. It is your all, I do. Yum. Yeah, that'll do nicely. Is it delicious? Mmm. <laughs> it's going down fast, aren't and you? you? Can't, and you can't buy it in the shop. <laughs> you cannot buy it in the shop. You've got to make it. So that's Richard enjoying junket at the speed of light. Oh, yes. <laughs>